if you are looking for some support for current affairs if you are a fresher you are a working professional you are a repeater but you want some support for current affairs then i have a program for you uh, i have given the uh, brochure and also the uh, announcement video link in the description you can watch if you are interested hello all welcome back to current affairs atlas series i'm guna madivanan from offices ias academy in today's video we are going to discuss about small finance bank see small finance bank they are set up primarily to undertake basic banking activities what is a basic banking activities like accepting deposits giving loans sorry every bank accept deposits give loan what is special about sfb small finance bank see the uniqueness of sfb is they provide this basic uh, banking activities to a targeted audience of small business units small and marginal farmers micro small enterprises unorganized sector entities so this small finance bank has a target group it doesn't mean that others cannot open bank account in small finance bank don't think like that so let's take indian overseas bank anyone can open account in iob anyone can borrow from iob likewise in small finance bank also anyone can deposit money anyone can borrow money but however the difference between the indian overseas bank and small finance bank is the primary objective of small finance bank is to ensure that the credit needs are Uh, reaching the basic banking activities are reaching the unserved and underserved sections of society the unserved and underserved sections of the society that is the uh, differentiating factor now how to ensure that these banks are providing basic banking activities to unserved underserved so how to ensure that so the rules for the small finance bank is slightly different when you compare with the regular bank the rules for sfb is little different for example if you take priority sector lending priority sector lending you all know about priority sectors so rbi and government of india they will list out certain priority sectors where certain amount of loan has to be ensured so for regular banks 40 percentage of their advances should go for priority sectors but if it is small finance bank 75 percentage of their advances should go for priority sectors if it is normal iob sbi of all the loans they give 40 percent of the loans will go for priority sectors but if it takes small finance bank 75 percent will go for priority sectors right iob there is no condition on the loan size amount what should be the loan size there is no condition iob can give 1 crore loan can give 10000 rupees loan can give 1000 crore loan can give 10000 crores loan there is no some condition and all but if you take small finance bank there is a condition with respect to lending that is 50 percentage of their advances should be of a maximum size of not more than 25 lakh rupees that is i will make it clear now assume a small finance bank has 100 crores of capital this 100 crores of capital they have they can lend 100 crore rupees now in this 50 crore rupees they can lend in any size the 50 crore rupees can be divided into multiple loans of any size the loan can be 1 crore 25 crores 30 crores or 150 crore loan can also be given but the remaining 50 crores that is the remaining 50% this can be divided into multiple loans but each loan size should not be more than 25 lakhs so 50% of the loan amount that loan amount sizes should not be more than 25 lakhs so 50% of the money should be small sized loans such restrictions are there in small finance bank but such restrictions you will not see in the regular bank see apart from that there is no big difference right uh, in small finance bank also you can uh, open current account savings account there is no problem 
right uh, with respect to crr slr obligation it applies for both it applies for both small finance bank also they have to adhere to the prudential norms of rbi see debit card credit card everything can be given by everything can be given by small finance bank so the difference between small finance bank and the iob is target the target of ifb i mean small finance bank is unserved and underserved sections small business units small and medium farmers micro small enterprises un uh, i mean uh, unorganized sector entities this is about small finance bank now with respect to areas of operation when small finance bank was introduced there was restrictions on areas of operation small finance bank where they can set up originally small finance bank were set up only they were to be set up only in rural areas originally branches and all they can set up only in the neighboring districts there was restrictions on area of operation but now it is not like that in metropolitan cities only you see a lot of uh, small finance banks there is no restriction on area of operation as of now when it was introduced there was restrictions so why it was in use two small finance bank got merged fincare small finance bank and au small finance bank merged that's why it was in use merger is not important no about small finance bank 